Welcome to Crypt Laboratories, where dreams become reality. Step into a world of endless possibility while we invite you to join us on a journey to create a celestial civilization like no other. Good job, Robert. In 1963, Crypt Laboratories set out on a grand vision to build a world free from the shackles of death, crime, harm, and poverty. A future where peace reigns supreme and humanity reaches new heights. Imagine a world without fear, where loved ones live on forever, united in a tapestry of eternal joy. At Crypt Laboratories, we're pioneering revolutionary advancements that will make this vision a reality. Our team of brilliant minds are dedicated to pushing the boundaries of what's possible by unlocking the secrets of immortality and eradicating disease. So join us, dear friends, on this incredible journey. Together, we can transcend the limitations of our time and shape the utopian paradise that future generations will marvel at. Support our mission. Call the number on your screen and be part of a future filled with peace and endless possibilities.
All rise for the Honorable Judge Chandler. You may be seated. You swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? I swear. Mr. Ambrose, this is a sentencing hearing. You have already been convicted by a jury of your peers. Any testimony that you give today will inform the final sentence that you receive, which is at my sole discretion.
Mr. Ambrose, the state has brought you here today to expose the true extent of your malevolence. In your previous testimony, you mentioned that everything you did was necessary to fulfill a promise. Since you were so honest with investigators previously, can you now explain to the court the nature of this promise and how you went about keeping it? I made a promise to the people of the world. A promise to create the utopia advertised by Crypt. You see, our world has always been plagued by inefficiency as a result of people being unable to fulfill their material needs. The world's governments, even in our modern age, have been unable to fix these problems. So, when my company and I were funded, we set out on a mission to transform the world. We believed that we could harness the power of science to create a utopia, an ideal society, an equal society. Experiment after experiment, we were breaking new ground. We were pushing the boundaries of what we thought was humanly possible. And we were making remarkable progress. But, as with everything, we eventually did hit a roadblock. The frontal lobe, the seat of human consciousness, was deflecting our serum and making it unable to progress any farther. The human brain is resistant to change after all. Just too good to be true Can't take my eyes off you You'd be like heaven to touch I wanna hold you so much At long last love has arrived And I thank God I'm alive You're just too good to be true Can't take my eyes off you The sight of you leaves me weak There are no words left to speak But if you feel like I feel Please let me know that it's real You're just too good to be true Can't take my eyes off you Just too good to be true Can't 
Just describe to the court the means you employed to realize this utopian vision. Yes, unfortunately, we were compelled by the magnitude of our promise to do whatever it took to realize our vision of this world, up to and including sacrificing the lives of test subjects. But we believed that the ends would justify the means, that the sacrifice of a few test subjects to bring paradise to the world where no family would suffer, no child would die needlessly. No one would have to fall asleep and wonder if they would wake up in the morning. We believe that to be a righteous cause. gravity of charges against you, Mr. Ambrose, can not be overstated. Your actions have caused immeasurable pain and suffering. Objection, Your Honor. Sit down. Go ahead, Mr. Prosecutor. Innocent lives torn apart, families shattered, and communities left in ruins. Please 
Tell them specifically what you did, Victor. subjected, among others, 13 children to our experimental procedures and unfortunately, yes, all 13 of them did die. But we saw them as necessary sacrifices for the advancement of our technology. We were and still completely are dedicated to our vision of a better world and we will do whatever it takes to get there. I made a solemn vow to the people. We did. Crypt did. And from our unwavering dedication, we came this close to achieving our goal. And because of you, we failed! Mr. Ambrose, sit down. It is the solemn duty of this court to uphold the law and to protect the innocent from individuals like yourself. Your exploitation of the vulnerable, particularly children and the poor, and your blatant disregard for the sanctity of human life and the law are abhorrent. We vehemently condemn the sacrifice of innocent lives in the name of abstract progress. justice and uh, this court's discretion, I am sentencing you to the maximum extent of the law. For the murder of Jane Thompson. I'm sentencing you to life in prison without the possibility of parole. For the murder of the remaining 13 victims who were marred beyond identification, 13 consecutive life sentences without the possibility of parole. The torture of John Tristan. Life in prison without the possibility of parole. For the desecration of 13 corpses, 91 years. This hearing is adjourned.
stop us all.